Do you like pain? How about more pain? How about everlasting pain? This is pain everlasting. Arguably one of the worst card side games have ever printed for the Heroes of Remembrance expansion. And we are gonna try and win a game with it. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the list that I cooked up just to make this work. The idea is really simple, you play Pain Everlasting on fire, you get the leader effect, your opponent plays a card on their next turn, they ping themselves for 2, then you play on your next turn, on turn 6 you play Garrow Dev into any 2 pings in front of the deck for like 15 damage total by turn 6. Should we win you the game? Sometimes. Anyways. If you are new to the channel, remember to leave a like, leave a subscribe, and without further ado, let the pain begin. Once again, we are back in another match. We are going to full Milligan for Pain Immortal. Pain Everlasting, sorry, not Pain Immortal. And we hope that... Actually, no, we are going to keep this though. Pain Immortal... Pain Everlasting can always come after. Can always come after, but we need our early game to get rough into a full swing. 1, 2, 3, okay, that's pretty good, pretty decent. Yes, oh yes, Pain Everlasting, nice. Now we need Vania and we need to find... Who was that? Vania and Raging Commander, yes. We find those two guys, we can have, we can have fun. Yes, we can have fun together if we find those two guys. I'm gonna play a throw into this guy because I know this guy will die. One way or another. Next turn we go Inferno and let's feast in style. Either ways... No, actually... If we play our cat, I'll get rid of one guy and my whole board gets cleared. But I think that's perfectly fine. A-OK, -okay, uh, another way you can say it. Howling Scree, okay. We heal. Vania. They are probably going for the kind of the same thing as me. Wait, no, he just used it. That's really weird. I didn't expect him to just use it. How should I play this? Vampire Queens in the Let's Feast in style? I go Let's Feast. Okay, I think this one is better. We go, let's feast in style. Inferno. We throw them both in and then we housing screen. We draw. We got Raging. That's good. We got Vania. That's good. Oh, this is good. Wait, wow. Am I in... Oh, I'm not even in Vengeance. Oh no, I'm not even in Wrath. Why am I so happy? But I do need to set up Vania soon. Vampire's Queen Ping Ping Run it in Or Vania He's at 16 I'm gonna go for the more risky play and play Vania I'm gonna try and go for the high roll I have faith in my high rolling skills It's really easy If this goes well right We win in a couple of turns we paint everlasting next turn, we clear the entire board. And then the turn after that, we go give into raging into something else. I don't know what that something else is, but you'll win us the game. Trust. I do not know what I'm talking about, by the way. How, can they kill me with 6 mana and if I'm at 12 hit points? 11 hit points. You know what? Screw it. We're just gonna send it. We are never getting punished from this. Never. Never. Wait, wait. Wait, why am I at 8? Oh. No. No. Okay, you do not have Gollum. I hate this game. Why did I play this game? Why did I play this game? Why did I play this card? Why did I... Screw me. This is probably one of my worst deck ideas ever. Oh my lord. Oh. Uh, you know what? At least, right, the flare of this. Uh, the flare of the card is really accurate. 
pain everlasting. Yeah, playing the card is everlasting pain, alright. Mm, could try getting into rough early on, up against dragon, I'm not sure what to expect. But anywho, we are going second, so we have definitely have more evolve points uh, to use and get our Eddies active. Is Eddies the best card to run in this case? I don't even think so anymore, but it is what it is sometimes. Uh, I guess I'll just get Mikhail down. There's, there's no harm getting him down now. He's probably gonna play, yup, hot header on next turn. Then morning and Flotuis on 3. Uh, Mikhail, stop appearing in my hand! Like, actually, stop! How did I always manage to draw you? Do you know this is why you don't have friends? Seriously? Ooh, we got white. White is good. Oh. Rough isn't active, so I'll just probably trade this one in. Now, the next card I need to look for is Pain Everlasting. Because, look, can it really be a Pain Everlasting game if I, if I don't play Pain Everlasting? Like, that, that just wouldn't make sense. We have to look for it, even though I'm playing right rough right now. Kiriye, okay. Man, the, that card was so bad. <laughs> I've played so many games with that card. You know, if, in fact, there are games like where I can have 3 copies in my hand and the, the game will be better off if I don't play that. But, given what I'm trying to do, of course I have to play it. <laughs> it's so stupid. Never have I seen a card right where it's actually worse for you to play it than for you to not play at all. Like, you can have it included in your deck. And it's... Oh my god, stop showing up in my goddamn... How did I draw all three Mikhail's and not a single one of my Pain Everlastings? What? What is this? What is this luck? Hello? Side games? I'm trying to... Make sure I'm trying to show that your card design sense isn't terrible here. Don't tell me I'm ready dead. That does then. Uh, that heals three. Heals three does twelve. Doesn't feel like I'm dead, but I could really well be. Okay, okay, he's trading, he's trading. Okay, I can heal back those damage, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I, of course I have to draw it now! Um, Yeah, I'll, I'll still get the heal off, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, fine. Daijobu. All's good, all's good, all's good, I just have to deal with 7 damage next turn. Actually, wait, 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 I just, I just countered her with this. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just counter Ati Maria? No way, he said 10 mana, I just played something else before that. That was stupid of me. Why did I think I could counter Ati Maria? That's just impossible. Um, great. Watch him not, not understand what that card do and play Pain Everlasting, uh, and play Ati Maria first. Watch. Watch him play Ati Maria right now and I'll laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Pogu! <laughs> it actually happened! Oh my god! <laughs> Bruh! That, that was... That was... That was... Cra wow! Props to this guy, man! Oh my god! This is why you... <laughs> ah! <laughs> Imagine reading cards, am I right? <laughs> wow, okay.
<laughs> she actually didn't read. She didn't read. <laughs> that was so bad. That was so badly done. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> what can I, I? I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. Autocraft might perform a little bit better this time instead of just losing immediately. Okay, we have two draws. We have white. I think this is looking pretty good for us. Now, all I need is Pain Everlasting, Raging Commander, Vania, and Garrodev. All of which I had three copies in my deck. I should be able to draw one of them soon. Or both of them. All of them. In fact, end of the day, I should be able to draw them. Asvald is fine. Asvald on 2 will draw me either Garrodev or Raging. That's pretty good. And then it also takes it out of White's pool. I like that a lot. In fact, he's probably going to continue trading these. Nah, Azot first. We got Garrow Death. Not the worst, not the worst card, but I'm nev not going to play it on four. Of course, they can heal the damage. Great. Eh, I can destroy it as well, but who cares? Oh, we got the raging as well. You know, what, I'm just going to transform it. There's no point keeping it alive. It's gonna, it's gonna disrupt my plans in the future. Next turn we white. Of course, they are my opener after all. Immediately after this right one. Okay, cool. Um, Vania, pain everlasting. Okay, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, we got another Garou death, which is amazing. In fact. Oh wait, that actually sets up for a very interesting play. I can if I paint everlasting on five, right? I can go Garudev on six into immediately into Demonic Drummers. That will activate Garudev. Oh wow. You know what? The chance is there. Let's see how much damage is it. 11. I'm going for it. I'm going for that. Is it? I'll heal with this one. So if he plays a follower, it brings him down to 14. And then next turn, we go for Garudev into Demonic Drama a little. Come on. Come on, give it to me. I worked really hard for this, you know. I worked really, really hard for this. Don't, don't take it away from me now. I know you don't have healing, mate. I know you don't. You know that I know that you don't. Yes, perfect. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, come on. What? Really? You you pull out a ward now? I'm so disappointed in you, man. I'm so disappointed in you. Really, really. I'm so disappointed. But unfortunately for you. Okay, actually that kind of mattered. Okay, that's actually really annoying. I have to delay this play. Actually, can I go... I can I can play uh, Raging Commander first. I'll play Demonic Drummers. It's an auto-evolve and I have... I get, I get to play... I get to heal as well. It's a win-win-win-win-win. Then double win. Let's see, how should we play this? Okay, I think this is fine. Gratina comes down. Mikael comes down. Oh, come on. Stop it, please. Please, no more. How much I made? Six, eight? You know what? I should count. 
Four, three. How much damage does this do? I, either ways, I feel like I have to send Garuda face right. I have to send him face. Wait, actually, why am I even thinking about this? It's just little is right there. Oh, I think I have done irreversible damage to my brain because of this. You know what? Leave a like and subscribe for my pain, please. <laughs> pain everlasting. Won us the game? I don't care what you guys say. Did he won us the game? I'm never playing this ever again. Oh my god.